The Bread of Salt by NVM Gonzalez. It was his assigned duty to be up early in the morning and be on his way to the bakers to buy rolls and pandesal for the breakfast table. He was 14 and he has already got used to his task. On his way, he has thought of the bread of salt, pandesal, and wondered how it was made, what gives it flavors and shape. He was bored with it. For him, that only thing that seemed as a reward for buying pandesal, that of seeing the old Spanish house in which Ida, the girl of his dreams, lives. He visited himself with fantasies about Ida and dreamed of being a man worthy of the girl's affection. He was a diligent student and violinist. His feeling toward to the girl motivated him to preserve on being a good violinist. It didn't take long before he was transferred from second to first and before long. He was invited to join Beatsize private band Minvillo's orchestra and perform in one engagement after another. He was happy to earn money through his own skills although it was with other business that he had to enjoy rehearsals despite the outward at disapproval of his aunt who was against his chosen field. She thought musicians are no better than dogs scurrying to get their mouths on food scraps in trash bin for they are always the last one to eat at every party. But he didn't mind thinking that the money he'll earn from playing the violin will allow him to buy a brooch and beautiful stationery for his ardent love letters to Ida so he could profess his love for her. Unfortunately, his plans weren't materialized. A defining moment happened when their band was chosen to perform during the grand surprise party in the old Spanish house. Afraid of being late to their commitment, they arrived early at the venue without eating supper at all. The band rendered music for hours and it was already midnight when they were given a break to eat. The young boy who had been starving already took the chance to voraciously devour the delightful cousin served on the table. He conveyed every food to his mouth as if he was in a battlefield, making his mouth full with a variety of food he couldn't even recognize. Until he heard the voice of Ida from behind, he was caught. Ida saw him and she asked him if he hadn't eaten anything yet. It was a disaster. He thought he was with his bandmates only, but he was wrong to add insult to an injury. Ida even told the boy that she would pack him a big package of food if only he could wait for the visitors to leave. She was thinking that the young boy must be extremely hungry. It was like a forceful punch against his ego, making him too small in front of the girl. Of all people who could see him, it was Ida who caught him off guard. For a long time, he tried to look perfect in the eyes of the girl but he was like a glass already broken by humiliation. He already felt defeated even before he started to tell his feelings. Reality slapped him the moment he realized the big difference between his status and that of Ida. He walked away. His admiration for Ida was instantly gone. He realized that his dream of him with Ida wasn't he thought it would be. After the party, the boy asked his friend Pete to go to the bakery to buy pandesal with his own money. But the bread wasn't ready yet so they had to wait. 